Kalacho. By your sweetest princess Zilka. Suppress of Tsukis Mus Principessa Sirgita. I am intelligent, wise, and generous. Here in my Takalachi, unlike everywhere, man. No, I feel super shady right now, but it could be much worse, so I'm grateful and I cry. Let's move on. In a Spanish speaking country, I studied French. In a French speaking country, I studied Italian. On and on. Among my French teachers, there was one really cute woman. There were two sisters, they both taught. Half Mexican, half French, they grew up in France. So they were like European, both. From the north part of France, La Normandie. Look, I remember, she mentioned it once. She was young, slim, cute. And her sister was not slim. And had long hair. She was pretty, and her sister was not ugly. But her sister was intellectual in a way in which she made it her purpose to be the best in something. She won the international French spelling B. That's that's a big man, French intellect. Chapeau. My teacher, <laughs> well, how do I know to talk about her? Yeah, because I'm asked to. Because I saw a reel, and the reel was maybe in English. And it said something like, something similar to what she said, but it's the vibration within. I remember that she was bringing all these phrases. J'ai perdu mon maman. J'ai perdu mon maman. She made an emphasis on these phrases to pronounce them well and it was so cute and she repeated that so we could repeat she was so cool and nice but she had super low self-esteem and I felt for her because she thought she was less than her sister who had won the spelling bee this young woman she was of international caliber I don't know if her sister though this young woman you could bring to any place, to any restaurant, to any... She just was cool. But she didn't know it and I felt sorry. One first pointer of the French loneliness, the solitude. She said she would go visit Normandy. That's very cold. It's not nice. So she brought up again another little item of coolness one page in which she wrote down all the gros mots which is all the profanities in french all the slang because it's a long it's it's a long long list and besides we don't really say gros mots we say uh, largo that's your french expression because french has a lot of those very juicy expressions which, of course, who uses those? Well, bon vieux. Bon vieux. The low class, outskirts, uneducated, skinhead, hair shapes, partially white French, and then maybe Arabs joined them. It's not really in the common word to say so. And in a way, she giggled as she brought the list because it was not informative alone. She giggled like she giggled because these are the forbidden words. You shouldn't talk. She didn't say it, but I could see. Oh, of course, I learned it. I would never say any of those words ever in my life. 
she made it very clear, but she didn't settle the list of the forbidden words because she was of class in a way. I have not much to say. No, her sister didn't give us lessons. I can be, I can imagine that her sister was commanding dicta dictatorship, dictatorial. Whereas this woman, she was soft. I think she was like ideal for a good man. <laughs> yeah, she also had intel intelligence. And she never took herself too seriously because of her low self-esteem. Man, shit growing up, I say. I didn't like to see her like that. I felt sorry for her. Right now I'm feeling so